Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Scene Builder. And this is Scene Builder right here and what it is, is a visual editor for FXML files. So now that we know how to work with FXML files through code, what Oracle did is they actually built this visual editor and just by looking at it you can already see exactly what it is basically a little visual editor where you can drag and drop items and edit all of their properties and settings manually it's really useful so first thing I should probably do is tell you guys how to download it and to download it the link is actually a little bit tricky to find you go to this link right here I'm not going to read it out because it's kind of weird. 139210.html, whatever. And if you scroll down, they have a bunch of stuff you can download. The last link is JavaFX Scene Builder. So click on that and you can see all the different versions. You probably want the latest one, 2.0. And of course, pick whatever system you have. I am using it for Windows, so I would have clicked that, but I already have it installed. I'm not going to take you through the installation process because it is incredibly simple. This is just a wizard. You click next, 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 next. You have it on your system. So what you can do is you can just like put an icon on your system so you can double click it and this opens up. And this is basically um, one of the templates. So what I did to open this is I just choose file, new from template, and I think this one is just one of the basic applications or if you want a brand new project that's completely blank you can just choose file new and it will give you a blank one but I want to choose a little template so I can actually show you guys a couple of different things about it and in the next tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be building a sample interface for I don't know we'll say we're making a program about like I don't know we'll just make something up but before I get to all that I actually want to go over some terminology real quick so this of course at the top is the menu bar you already know what that is I'm not gonna you know explain how to like um, cut things because you already know that's this right here this is called the path selection and message bar now remember whenever we make an interface in FXML it's not like making it through Java code we're actually making it in a hierarchy that's what XML is it's a hierarchy of elements so that's the useful thing about this you can actually look at the parent and all of their children or grandchildren and you can select them really easily now also in this little section in the bottom left this is called the document panel this gives you another visual visualization it's kind of a goofy word of your element so our overall layout is a vbox things are going to be arranged vertically and then inside there we have a menu bar and an anchor pane which is this little area right here now of course you can see this is pretty cool because you can actually drag these things to resize them if you want so in this top left area this is called the library panel basically any control or layout that you want to add you can actually add by dragging it and dropping it and actually let me show you guys this I'm gonna select a VBox which is my entire layout and hit delete so now we just have a blank window that's what this is simulating so the first thing we always want to add to it is some kind of layout so I might as well just add VBox like before so you can take it and drag it right there and now we have a VBox so of course uh, we can just do something like if you want to add the actual controls like buttons and text fields they're under the control section let me just drag one of those out and drop it right like that so you know I don't really need to explain how to drag and drop this is all very intuitive which is really awesome and by the way this section right here is called the content panel all of your layout and visual elements that are gonna go with your interface they go in the content panel right here now one other thing I want to point out is this whenever you select an item this area this is called the inspector panel it changes depending on what you have selected so we have a button selected right now so these are going to give us all of the properties for your button the layout the code and the layout well of course you know is just like uh, the spacing the padding the properties are the color the text on it and the code is remember we talked about IDs and controllers and stuff like that whenever I show you guys an actual example in the next video I'll talk to you guys about all this stuff and you know if you want to give it an idea or whatever but there you go that's the real quick 
basic you know overview of how to use scene builder and in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to build a really awesome um layout and it's everything's gonna make a lot more sense so thank you guys for watching I'll see you then